Hey guys, this is Mark again from our pod, <laughs> that's my dog, rpodmod.com. And uh, I want to uh, cover this. This is a solar floodlight. We our R pod has never been plugged into, uh, never been plugged into the grid yet. Uh, we're always boondocking. Now that doesn't mean it's not plugged in at home, charging up. Uh, but this uh, this is another item I got. Find you LED. Sorry, this is also from Find You LED. These guys just they've got the in on on this LED stuff at a great price. Uh, this this is touted as a high efficiency solar panel day night sensor. This comes off at um, uh, turns on at dusk, off at dawn. Fully charged says it goes six to eight hours. Super bright, which you'll see here in a second. It's borderline going off right now because I have all the drapes pulled. The the reason I wanted this for the R Pod, I, I've been I've actually been asking the R Pod owners forum about different lights that they've used, and I'm trying to find out what light you would consider or do you already use. But anyway, I'm going to show you how this works. So if we go kill the lights, you can see it comes on. I do have some back lights still, so you're not going to see. Uh, See it as bright as it really is. It's actually pretty darn bright. I'll face it that way. For for just such a little system. But here's the main thing about it. I guess from the antenna, a little radio signal on off switch. Got a little hanger there so you can just stick it right by your bed. And when you decide I don't want camp lit up anymore, you just shut it off. Not only do you save your battery for later on in the night, uh, if you need to get up and take a walk at the last minute. I know some R potters have completely gotten rid of their bathroom. So uh, this could definitely be for them, especially if they're boondocking and you got to go out there with a shovel or something like that. But you decide, hey, I want it back on again. Quick uh, turn on and there you go. I mean, this is just the handiest little thing in my opinion. I don't know what the range is yet, but uh, I plan on putting this out in the middle of camp a little bit. And, you know, as we all go to bed, that can be on instead of me leaving a lantern partially burning, which I usually do. So there's some kind of light in camp. We can have that on and just kill it and we're good to go. Or if you want to leave it on all night, so be it. You know, you get your six to eight hours out of it. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to put the link to this. I think it's really awesome. I love, um, I just love the remote control for this. I mean, that's, you know, welcome to 2016. I don't know why these didn't have remotes before at this kind of price point. Uh, but it's, it's a really great deal. This company is just very solid. I had told you on the last video about the LED light that I wasn't able to figure out. They were excellent in making sure with follow-up emails that I was able to sort out the app and how to correctly use it. Uh, but anyway, I'm uh, going to actually mount this on top of the motorhome with a temporary base. You can see that in the uh, next video that I'll link to this one. And I did that because, first of all, I don't want something that I'm going to have to worry about extra height on the R-Pod or potentially blowing off. But I also wanted a quick dismount that will mount somewhere else. We, we uh, are just getting ready to buy a little cabin off-grid in the woods. I'd like to be able to use it there. Or, you know, if I want to put it out away from the R-Pod, you know, just shining on camp from a different direction. So, anyway, check out that video. And thanks for uh, checking out rpodmod.com.